growing up in Mexico. You can't help it. Mexico draws you to love food. I've always loved cooking, and I think every job I had was restaurants. It was something that I was learning all the time. My paychecks, I would spend them on knives and cookbooks. What really makes me happy is like cooking for people. For me, it's like about evolving. And traditional is just being true to yourself and your roots. If you're using your roots, you can create new traditions. Cosme is a little piece of Mexico just located a little bit north. We arrived here, it was October of six years ago. Cosme was a strip club. Five years later, we're one of the best restaurants in the world. All these awards haven't changed us, and I think it's just so amazing how we're like a big restaurant name, but such a small team. It's a very different kitchen environment uh, when everyone is together. It's just like really fun to see like people dancing. We uh, let people just be themselves. We run it like a family. I grew up with a family that was like a lot into sports and we eat a lot and I wanted to do something with wellness and sports and I was able to get into like the wellness aspect into the restaurant, which is so interesting. If you're a chef and you don't know like what's happening in the world with your ingredients, then you're not real because chef is being a chief, which means being something that nurtures people. Everything that grows in New York, we try to use it and implement it here. If you're cooking real Mexican food, you have to be real to what, with what you have available. Seattle has been great. Everyone here is very chill, very nice. We've been working all day and, and just happy to be here. This space, when we came in, it was an uh, old brewery, and it was definitely a challenge to change it into a restaurant in one day. It was really great to see everything coming together. Every event that we do, I always bring uh, the team with me, uh, just because all the recognition that I get is not because of me, it's because of them. For them to be exposed to the same opportunities that I get is really nice. It's always really nice to work with somebody that is professional. And Kelly is making a peach dessert. And then Danny has like a, just an incredible different type of cocktails that she was making. And it was just so cool to see how just three different people from different parts in the US, just like we understood each other so well. Everything goes when, when you're cooking, it's like music. I think just to be respectful to every kind of city, you have to use the sources that they give you because that's what Mexican food is about. Not every Mexican musician is a mariachi, right? So why do I have to make tacos everywhere I go? You can be the best at doing something, but if you don't, if you're not teaching anyone anything, your soul is gonna die when you die. If you want that tree to grow, you better put it in a bigger pot, you know? Like, think of them as chefs, don't think of them as like, you know, a dishwasher, cooks, and you know, and then that you will see the results that you want. Sometimes we try to mentor people to be like us, and that's never gonna happen. Just by really actually listening to someone, you can w learn way more than like what the advice that you're giving.
how I want to be in my life is having good people around me all the time and make sure those people are very successful. If you're good to yourself and you have like good people around you, you're set. I always forget names but never a smile. The prep and the, the effort, uh, that goes away. The people you meet and the spaces that you go, the smells. Memories are the most important thing.